Unlock your wild side with these five DIY easy decorations for In the Wild VBS. Our first idea is actually a compilation and we're going to go through it rather quickly. Why? Because I have an entire video focusing on just these ideas. Click the link to get a tutorial on how to make these different projects. In the Wild VBS is centered about a photography adventure through different biomes, so I started with some jungle and savanna decorations. I love these ideas because they are so affordable and quick to throw together. You can get the whole tutorial by clicking the card, but I'll give you the highlights here so you can get some inspiration. I got the tablecloths from the dollar store, cardboard for free from a grocery store, butcher paper in bulk off Amazon, and the other miscellaneous supplies I already had on hand. Now you may notice the rocky waterfall in the corner, which has more of a rainforest and jungle look here. However, this idea is really easy to adapt to other VBS themes. To make the waterfall, I stacked cardboard boxes, covered them in crumpled butcher paper, and draped a blue tablecloth for water. You can even cut up the blue tablecloth to make it more streamer-like if you want for extra texture. The next project is to make some animal cutouts. This is super easy with a projector, laptop, and some sharpies. I found some cartoon beavers, traced them onto cardboard, and cut them out. I like to retrace them a second time so that way the picture stands out really well. You can paint your animal cutouts if you want, but I like the beavers just the way they were. You can repeat this process with butcher paper or poster board to make other critters. I wanted some salmon or trout, whatever you want to call them, to be jumping in my river, so once again I used the projector to trace them out. I also wanted a grizzly bear, but I guess he kind of turned into a black bear because of the color poster board I used. If you are tracing out a dark colored animal, use a white crayon for your lines. This way, you don't have to worry about painting, but you can also add more detail than having just a silhouette. Our fourth idea is to make jumbo Polaroids. Now, as you will see, mine turned out a little... well, okay, you'll see in a minute. The idea here is to get a white poster, project a jungle, rainforest, nature, some kind of in-the-wild image onto it, trace it, and color it in. I ran into a couple problems when making mine. First, I didn't have white posters, so I covered a green poster in printer paper, which made it a little goofy. And second of all, the photo that I selected to trace was pretty blurry. Plus, I didn't want to spend a lot of time coloring it in, so I just did a quick job. As you can see, it resulted in an interesting looking scene. If you want yours to turn out better than mine, I would recommend opting for a crisp, possibly cartoon image to trace, instead of a blurry picture like I used. Our fifth idea is to create an Antarctic zone. Or an Arctic zone, I guess, but I've got a bonus idea in just a minute that will turn this specifically into an Antarctic zone. Anyways, I'm creating an icy landscape by taping square plates from the dollar store onto the wall. I got 16 large plates for a dollar at my local Dollar Tree, so you can cover a large area quickly and inexpensively. You can also use white paper, like the backside of wrapping paper or even a tablecloth to add texture. Here I'm creating a rock. I crumpled the paper for texture and taped it around a box to take up more space. You could even make an icy waterfall using white paper or tablecloths instead of butcher paper. And for our bonus idea, let's make some balloon penguins. I have an entire video explaining the process in more detail, but I'll give you a quick rundown here. Start by inflating a white round balloon until it's just a little bigger than your fist. This is the head. Inflate the second white balloon for the body and just size it against the head. Then tie these two balloons together. For the feet, inflate an orange twisting balloon. Twist off a small section for assembly purposes later. Then twist a longer section for half of the first foot. Twist this section with the rest of the balloon to complete the first foot. And then repeat this for the second foot. Once our feet are complete, cut and tie off the excess balloon. With the excess we cut off, inflate it and push the air all the way to the end. This will be our nose or our beak. Size it down and tie it off. For our arms or wings, inflate a blue or black twisty balloon so it's long enough to wrap around the head and create arms. Size it against the head and twist it into a fish shape. Slide this around the head and pull the arms to the opposite side. For our body, inflate the last twisty balloons long enough so it fits around the body and has just a little bit of excess. As before, size it against the body and twist it into a fish shape. Slide this section over the head. Then press the round part towards the back side, leaving the excess pieces on the same side as the arms. Stretch the loop around the body balloon. Lastly, twist the excess pieces and head 180 degrees. 
To add the beak, slide the tail between the head and blue balloon, position it in place, and twist or tie the tail onto the back of the balloon. For the feet, slide the excess piece under the body between the blue balloon to hold it in place. Add eyes if you want, cut and tie any excess tails, and your penguin is ready to face the wild! Now let's see how it all looks together. Since I'm in a small room, all my nature scenes are right next to each other, which is kind of unrealistic. However, you can spread these out and use these ideas on a much larger scale in your facilities. I love how we were able to easily capture different places in the wild using basic, inexpensive materials. Which of these ideas did you like the best? Do you have any other ideas you want to add? Let me know in the comments below! And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you. Thanks for watching and happy crafting!